Huawei CFO Meng Wangzhu is suing the Canadian government, not just the government, but also the Border Security Agency and the Canadian Police Force over her detention. Meng Wangzhu says that the Canadian authorities have detained, searched and interrogated her before telling her that she was under arrest. Lan this comes two days after Canada decided to move forward with the extradition proceedings against Meng Wanzhou. China has urged the U.S. to withdraw its extradition request. The Huawei CFO's lawsuit says that Canadian authorities seized her electronic devices, they obtained her passwords, and they unlawfully viewed contents for three hours before informing her that she was under arrest. But China is not going to let it pass. Beijing is readying itself for a tit-for-tat diplomatic war. China is now accusing the Canadian diplomat detained of stealing state secrets. Meng Wanzhou's arrest has strained China's ties with the U.S., as well as Canada, of course. China says that the U.S. is indulging in a politically motivated attempt to hurt the Chinese telecom giant Huawei. Huawei. 实质是为打压中国企业的正当发展权利和利益编织借口，是以政治手段干预经济行为，是虚伪的、不道德、不公平的霸凌行径。Reports indicate that Huawei is also planning to sue the U.S. government on Thursday. Huawei's suit will be against uh, the Trump government's new National Defense Authorization Act. Huawei says that this act is an attempt to isolate and target the company. Its tough stance on Canada and the U.S. could derail the bilateral ties between the U.S. and China. U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping could meet this month to end the trade war, or try to end it at least. But with the latest development, such a truce is at risk.